Hey guys, how are you doing today? I hope that you are doing amazing. So today's video is all about my TBR for Co's Week. So as you guys know from this week's video, I am hoping to put together Co's Week. And so Co's Week is a read-a-thon, sort of like read-along kind of, um, week, the first week of July, because my birthday is July 6th, and I'm turning 29, and I just thought that it would be really, really fun to sort of put together a weeks-long readathon of something cozy and comfy and everything like that. So if you want to know all of the details, then go to that video from last week. I'll leave it linked down below. But here is my TBR for the um, Co's Week. So the book that I picked for a new favorite author or series is um, By a Whisker. This is by Sophie Ryan, AKA Sophie Kelly from the Magical Cats Mystery Series. Um, we read The Whole Cat and Caboodle um, for the uh, Cozy Mystery Book Club book a couple of months ago. And this is the Second Chance Cat Mystery Series. And I love that it's sort of like a DIY thrift shop type of cozy. And this is the second one in the series. And um, I'm, I'm really, really excited to read it. I love, love Sophie Kelly. And so I love the fact that I figured out that Sophie Ryan is the same person. So this is my new favorite series um, that I'm choosing, but it's also a favorite author. So it's sort of like both of those combined, which I'm excited about. The next book that I am reading is a new book. So it is a brand new book to me, and this is Left Fur Dead. This is by J.M. Griffin. It is the first in the um, series. This is a hair raising um, uh, book. I love that because there's a little, there's a little bunny right there. Um, it looks absolutely amazing. I love how detailed the cover is. Like the bowl is a cemetery and everything like that. I, I love it. I love the blurb on the back. It says, on Furbridge Farm, Jules cares for rescued rabbits, but when a killer strikes, she'll need a rabbit to rescue her. And this book was kindly sent to me by Kensington Mystery, um, and we they are doing a, um, a giveaway. I will have that on my Instagram. And so if you would like a copy of this book, then go and check out my Instagram and all of the rules and everything like that. But um, yeah, I'm super, super excited to read this one. This is a, um, a new book to me, a new author to me. And so that's really exciting. And thank you so much Kensington for sending this to me. Like that makes my heart so happy. Thank you so much. The last book that I have is a July release and you'll see this in next week's uh, cozy mystery releases, but here's sort of like a sneak peek. This is Penne Dreadful, <laughs> like Penne the pasta, but like, and sort of like Penny Dreadful, like, I don't know. It looks really, really cute. I mean, you guys know that I love anything with food, right? Like, I mean, it's just, it's just my jam, food. So those are the three books that I'm planning on reading for Co's Week. What are you planning on reading for Co's Week? I want you to tag me in your TBRs on Twitter or on Instagram, or if you're doing a video, tag me. I want to see them. And um, I hope that you guys join in. I'm so excited that you guys are wanting to be a part of Co's Week and sort of like celebrating my 29th birthday and everything like that. That's the end of this chapter of Courtagonist. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, happy reading. Bye.